<laughs> How are you? I'm doing great. Are you enjoying Dubai? Yeah, it's been beautiful. The World Congress of In Focus? It's been fantastic, yeah. yeah. Uh, can you please talk about who are you? What are you doing here? <laughs> <laughs> sure. Why, why are you in Dubai? Um, so my name is Vicky Noble, and I'm an emergency physician. Uh, I have been involved with Wind Focus almost from the beginning. I wasn't at the first meeting, but I think I've been at almost every meeting since the second meeting. Um, and I do point of care ultrasound in my hospital and am involved in some of the organizations around the world that do point of care ultrasound. Okay, so I'm directly actually jumping into our interest area, which is the medical student training ah, perfect. in emergency medicine. Uh -huh. As I am, we are actually promoting emergency medicine for medical student level and trying to attract them to get into the emergency medicine. Well, there is no better job in the <laughs> entire world than being an emergency physician, it's, it's and free. that's really true. <laughs> <laughs> and also we are providing free uh, emergency medicine education resources mm -hmm. for students and their educators. Perfect. So this is the you know, whole mission of yeah. that project. That's great. Uh, currently, actually, we did a couple of uh, the surveys, which is very small surveys, but it mm -hmm. gives a kind of idea, and I just want to get your opinion about the ultrasound training in medical schools Perfect. in general. So in the survey, uh, they're saying that 53% medical students have implemented ultrasound curriculum. In the uh, world or in... Well, uh, actually, it's a global yeah. you know, survey. Yeah. But it's a very few number of, of course, you know, yeah. the responses. But yeah. it's still, it's, uh, do you think it's too realistic? Uh, it globally, it seems high uh, because I'm not even sure we have 53% in the States. We're, we are getting close. And I think um, we're, we must be near 50%. But it may be true because I think um, people are starting to realize that it's very useful in teaching living anatomy. So the beautiful thing about ultrasound in medical school is that instead of just reading in a book and seeing a static image, you can see a dynamic image, you can see how it responds to different physiologic stress, uh, you can see how it responds to just normal activity, um, uh, you know, dynamic range of motion of all your joints or your heart or your lungs. So I think people are starting to realize what a powerful tool it is in education. Um, so I hope it's 53%. I hope it's 75%. But yeah, <laughs> I, don't know, I don't know. We yeah. said the 10%, 75 so yeah. depending on the country. Sure. But in the globally, 53 probably you know, most of the actually applicants from U.S. I don't know. Uh, we yeah. didn't check that details yet. Uh, another thing in the survey, they're saying that 90% of the focus training done by emergency medicine. What do you say? Uh, I, we are um, probably up there. I, I would say in the States it's, it's starting to change because I think other specialties are now realizing um, uh, the power of point of care ultrasound for all specialties. It's not just for emergency medicine. But I will... Um, brag a little that uh, emergency medicine was probably one of the first to recognize the power in the technology. Um, emergency surgery, of course, with the FAST exam, but emergency medicine in sort of the broad range of applications um, and really saw the potential for the technology both clinically and as an educational tool. That's great. Yeah. And uh, they said, uh, I mean, the surveyors, they said that 67% they think ultrasound training should be definitely part of the student curriculum. How do you believe that? That seems low. They should all think that, yeah. <laughs> um, I always think it's funny when you ask students if you think something should be part of the curriculum. Most of the time, um, there's probably some ambivalence because, you know, if you're asking someone who's just a new student, you don't know should it or should it not be part of the curriculum. But I do think most of us who do point of care ultrasound realize that students love it. It's very interactive. It's very visual. Um, and so it's, it's hard not to like it as a teaching tool. Great. Yeah. Okay, one more question about the ultrasound. Uh, how about the uh, global, I mean, the implementation activities, actually? Do you know any you know, uh, the the groups? We know, yeah. but I want yeah. to hear from you. I mean, yeah. uh, what is oh, going on internationally? They're, they're exploding. Um, there are groups all over the world, um, you know, that are, that are starting to do some teaching and some certification, um, some practice guidelines. Um, I just came back uh, this fall from uh, the African Federation of Emergency Medicine, and they were having a, p a point of care ultrasound interest group. I know you're involved in USUM for Europe that does a ton of uh, point of care ultrasound teaching, Win Focus, of course, um, of course, here in uh, Dubai at this conference. They do a lot of global um, ultrasound practice. Um, there's an Asia group, there's a Hong Kong group, there's an Australia group, 
I don't know if anyone in, in Antarctica is doing a. There's only oh, one yeah, in yeah. There's only one guy, so maybe <laughs> or sh- girl. I don't even know who it is, but um, so I don't know if they're doing a, a ultrasound group. But honestly, I think it's it's um, pretty universal at this point. Amazing. Yeah. So the good things will be happen soon globally also. I okay. think so. Well, and, and finally, the technology is c- catching up with the enthusiasm. I think one of the things was people saw the potential in the technology, but when it's expensive or the machines are too big or they're very complicated to operate, um, it can limit the diffusion yeah. of the users. But now that the machines are smaller and they're cheaper, they're easy to use, um, I think we will see this explode. Okay. Yeah. So thank you so much, ladies and gentlemen. We were with uh, the uh, ultrasound guru of <laughs> our generation, Vicky Noble. Thank, thank you, Vicky, for thank joining you. us. Yeah, my pleasure. And, uh,